So in first question, the question is use a suitable identity. In the last class, we learned there are four identities. Remember, a plus b whole square, a square plus two ab plus b square. Similarly, a minus b whole square, a square minus two ab plus b square. Then a plus b, a minus b, a square minus b square. Third one was x plus a, x plus b equals to x square plus a plus b x plus a b. Do you remember this thing? Yes, no. Yes. Okay, one second. Something is off. Anyway. So we will be using among these four identities. First of all, you have to write in that form. So as you can see in the first question, x plus three, x plus three. So x plus three, whole square. So identity used, very good. So you have to write the identity. Good. Now, in the first step, always use brackets. Okay, Sana? 2AB. A square plus B square plus 2AB. So whatever AB is there, A, B, A, B. You put them in bracket. X square, X square, 3 square, 9. 2 into 3, 6, 6X. Six so this is the first step. Very good. Why I am saying? Because if you do not put the bracket, let's say 2Y is a and I need to find a square. Some student do it like this 2y square. It should be 2y whole square. This answer is 2y square only. This answer is 4y square. Is this thing clear? There is a difference if you put a bracket and if you don't put a bracket. So in this case also, same identity used, put a bracket over here, put a bracket over here, put a bracket over here. So two one. Now this step is incorrect. Answer should be two y square should be four y square. Why is it so? Two y square means two y multiplied by two y. Two into two, four y into y, y square. Is this thing clear? Plus 5 into 5, 25. Plus 20y. So your this step is incorrect. Any doubt? Any doubt? In this part also, this part is incorrect, okay? It should be 4a square plus 49 minus 28a. The rest of the thing is correct. Yes, I corrected that in the other questions, but I forgot to do it in okay. the least one. Let me just quickly go through the rest of the parts also. Yeah, very good. A square, very good. So you can just cancel here also. No need of multiplying. 3a square is 9a square. 1 upon 2 means 1 upon 4. 
this did cancel three. Good. Answer is correct. Moving ahead. Debu, you can stop me if you want to discuss any point, okay? Question I'm understanding. Okay. Now, A minus B, A plus B. So, A plus B, A minus B is A square minus B square. So, A square minus B square. Very good. So, make sure you do the calculation. Now, this step is incorrect, okay? If I give you this for two marks, I will be able to give you 1.5. Let me tell you what is the correct thing. 11 into 11 is 121. One decimal. One decimal. Sorry for that. That means two decimals. So this part is correct. But what about M? M into M? M square. So your answer should be 1.21 M square minus 0 0.16 is answer. So now is this thing clear? Yeah, it's clear. I guess these were the few questions in the first no, no, there are a few more. Let me just go to the next one. Okay. Sixth part. Let me just check. Yeah. Sixth part is very, very important. A minus B, A plus B. Let me just rewrite this question. A square plus B square minus A square plus B square. Can I rewrite this question as B square plus A square? B square minus A square. Vibhu, is this step clear? Yes. Sir. Because you know, what you have done, you have shifted the minus. That is not allowed. Okay. But I can shift the whole term. Minus A square I have kept here. Plus B square I have kept here. Any doubt? So this particular step is very, very, very important. Now what identity you will be using is this one. A plus B, A minus B. So that is A square minus B square. Vibhu, can you tell me what is A? Sorry. So can you repeat the question? What is A in this question? So the identity which is used is A plus B, A minus B. Isn't it? Yes. So say A to the power of With A, what is A? A to the power 4 or just A. Can you see that? A is B square. So now is this thing clear? Yes, we put an equals to sign and then we write the B square plus A square. Yeah. So A square minus B square, that means B square, whole square, A square, whole square. Vibhu, is this step clear? 
Not no. really, sir. Not really. Okay, let me just finish this answer, then I will explain. Okay, can you tell me what will be the answer for this? Power to the power. Do you remember this law? Power yes. to the power. So power gets multiplied 2 into 2, 4. So answer is B power 4 minus B power 4. Okay. So quickly copy this thing, then I will explain this part again. Okay. So always remember uh, to write the question in the identity form. I'm just erasing everything so that we can start once again. As you can see, there is a forget what is two, what is two. Okay. Just observe the pattern. The pattern is there are two numbers which look same, but in one case there is a minus, rest everything is same, isn't it? So if you observe this part, there are two numbers a, b, a, b. They are exactly same, but in one case there is plus, in one case there is minus. So I get to know that this identity will be used. So always remember, we do not like this way. We always like to write the positive number first and negative number second. Is this thing clear? Yes. We do not like to write negative number first. We like to write negative number. Uh, sorry, positive number first. Give me one minute. So, what I was trying to say is like, we have to write this thing in this order. So, I need this negative should be in the middle. So, can I write, can I write this question as b square minus a square? Will it change anything? Let me just show you. Minus 5 plus 3 and 3 minus 5. Will it give same answer or not? Yes. So it does not matter. I can change the order. So similarly, similarly, I wrote b square minus a square. Since I am changing the order for this, just to be on the same page, I am just changing the order over here also. B square plus A square. Why I am not keeping minus? Because there was no minus. 3 plus 5. 5 plus 3. Isn't it same? Okay. Yes. Sir. Now if I pay attention, this part is A, this part is B. Why I am using capital letters? To avoid confusion. Okay. A plus B, A minus B. Okay. A plus B, A minus B. Yeah. Now, if I pay attention, A is B square. I should write this thing. As the numbers become complicated in algebra, I keep writing this thing. A is B square. Because identity is matching, no need, no need to change the sign. B is A square. I know that A plus B, A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. So A square minus B square. That's why I was telling Sana to 
put the brackets. Isn't it? Sana, I was telling you just a few minutes back. Yes. This is b square. B is k square. Now I will just solve this thing. B power four, a power four, and identity use law. A power m power n, a power m multiplied by n. So whatever steps you are using, whatever laws you are using, you should write. I hope this thing is clear now. Rest of the parts you can do and check yourself. Okay, now. So I'm just doing the eighth part right now. So as I told you, I don't like to see negative numbers first. So can I write, rewrite this as C minus A? C minus A, isn't it? Yes, no. Yes. Okay. So C minus A, C minus A is nothing but identity is a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now there is already a b c so there is a confusion isn't it? So at times you can use capital letters or even x y also x minus y whole square x square minus 2xy plus y square. Is it making sense? You can use any variable for the identity. I am write, writing the same identity over here, but in a different variable. So what is x in my this question? I guess c. What is y? I guess a. So a square for this x square minus 2xy plus y. C, C a a. C square minus 2ca plus a square. Is your answer matching? Yes, no. Yes. 